ladies and gentlemen, thank you for uh, joining us this morning. Um, it's, a, uh, it's a great day when I get a chance to recognise the work that uh, our retired officers um, do, have done over many, many years and the contribution that they've made to uh, our organisation. Um, today I'm very pleased to be able to announce that uh, we have from this year, our 150th year, made a decision that we would be acknowledging and recognising our retired officers um, on the first Thursday of September um, every year uh, as a fitting uh, tribute to the commitment that they have given us and, uh, and to the thanks that we need to express to them for their uh, ongoing service. I've also had the opportunity to uh, put on them a 150th year retired officers pin which again is a, a wonderful celebration that, uh, that we've all been involved in this year but uh, importantly we've, we've now been able to recognise them in a formal sense with a pin which they will carry on and, uh, and have forever. This is part of a, a wider plan that will roll out this Thursday, the 6th of September, um, where retired officers have been invited and I'm sure will go forward in their thousands to their local police station to, uh, to simply uh, have a chance to meet with the, the police, to look at the station, to uh, be acknowledged as retired officers and generally to, uh, to understand that they are important to us as an organisation. You don't realise how important the organisation is to you whether you're in the job for one or two years or you've been in the job for decades. When you leave, uh, for many officers, it is very difficult for them to uh, be able to pull away completely and this retired police officers day will give those officers who have retired, who still want to maintain their connection with policing, simply walking into a police station and sitting down, having a cup of tea with the next generation of law enforcement officers in this state is in fact a completion of a circle for many of these officers. They joined very young, they've now retired, they're in their twilight years, but they still remember fondly the victims that they helped, the crimes that they sold, the villains that they incarcerated, and to have that opportunity to talk to the next generation of police officers, for many of those police who've retired, will be a missing piece in the jigsaw of life. Uh, like each of my colleagues behind me and, and those who are represented here in spirit, I think if we were all 19 again, we'd do it all again. Because I think our greatest reflection is that at a time when courage and commitment counted most, it was our great privilege to have worked with so many fine men and women who represent a, a very fine organisation. I endorse the, the Commissioner's comments uh, about the organisation. We are all biased to that extent. Um, and we would hope that the contribution that individually and collectively we've been able to make um, represents the New South Wales Police Force today.